Well, gang, um, one of the worst things has happened today. For some reason or other, I don't know what happened, um, I lost all my playlists in iTunes. Well, I had the list of playlists up there and um, the, there were no songs in them. Uh, although it did say, for example, 11 songs, 37 minutes up there. Uh, the um, uh, the solutions I found on the internet, I, I looked and I found one and tried one and managed to then wipe my whole um, library from iTunes. So I've spent most of the afternoon and evening. Um, I had to go into my... Um, uh, into my hard disk where I've got them and I had to drag all of these back into iTunes. It was one quick quick swipe and drag um, or drag and drop as it were into iTunes. Comsa, alright, however I'm not going to do it. Um, it took ages, it took forever, but it put all my songs back and all my TV programs and stuff like that. However, the one thing that was missing still was all my playlists. Okay, and so I've had to get them off my iPod. Okay, um, so I'm going to quickly show you how I did that because I found a video um, on YouTube which I'll put the link in down below because I'm eternally grateful to this lady for um, uh, for showing us how it's done. Um, the first thing you need to do is go into your, in fact, really don't even... I'm 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 getting my playlist from my iPod, okay? So don't connect your iPod yet, okay? What you need to do is go into your iTunes, okay? iTunes preferences. If you're in Windows, it's edit preferences, okay? You go to iTunes preferences, you go to devices, and here you prevent iPods uh from syncing, okay? Um and you click that button there. Otherwise, what will happen is when you connect your iPod, it will sync and it will wipe all of your um, stuff on your iPod because the iMac or the computer, whatever it is, uh, is kind of um, takes precedence over what's on your iPod and it will clear whatever's not on your uh, I iMac library, okay, uh, on your main computer library. Um, from your iPod, so you don't want to do that, obviously. So prevent iPods and things from syncing. Okay. When I connected up my iPod, I then had a heart attack because it suddenly started saying syncing iPod, um, but it didn't actually do it. Okay. So then what you do is you go into iPod here. Okay. Um, and where it says on this iPod you've got a list of all your playlists, okay? Now I've done this already, so I'm not going to uh, redo it, okay? All right, but what you need is a cup of coffee and you sit down and one at a time, you go through all of your playlists, okay? You right click, okay? Right click on them or double tap on a trackpad okay, and choose export, okay, save it to your desktop, now I've actually got a, a, a folder here called play, playlist which I've made, okay, um, and there'll be a reason why, which will become apparent in a second, okay, what you do is you then go to export, okay, you make sure that this bit here says XML file, okay, so in the Mac uh, thing it's down here okay because you've got other ones and mine originally I think came up as plain text you save it as an XML okay then what you do once you've done all that is you then go to you say done okay you go to your main library here okay you can see I've already started doing this um, you then have to go to it it's incredibly tedious you go to library, file library, import playlist, okay, then you choose the next playlist on your thing, which is this one for me, okay, you open it, okay, and it will say some of the songs can't be found, I don't quite know why, oh, that's interesting. I haven't got the rest of the, of the songs from the album. I don't quite know why. 
okay? But there'll be a few like that, okay? Um, let's see if we can find one that's full, shall we? Okay, so do it again. File, library, import playlist. Okay, let's see. That one should be full. And say open to that one, and it's popped it there without that error message, and it's full. Okay, all right. Um, and that is how you do it, all right? But um, after you've done that, for goodness sake, make a compressed version of these by right-clicking on it, okay, and choosing Compress, okay, and then um, upload it onto Dropbox or some other form of online storage so that you've got it, all right? Because if ever a disaster like that strikes again, at least you've got your playlists and you can import them, all right? Um, iTunes is not a, an easy piece of software to, um, to master, I'm afraid. Um, in fact, it's a pain in the jack, okay? Um, so the more backups you can have of it, the better, all right? Um, so that is how you do it, okay? And uh, uh, yeah, I'll put the uh, video link down to um, the other lady's video. The reason why I'm not copying this video at all, she showed me how to do it, but she had an earlier version of iTunes on a PC, all right? So, um, so perhaps, uh, you know, it's, you know, an updated video, this one is then. Okay, all right, thank you, bye-bye.